Hi. Hi. So, please tell us about your rifle here. We are NCO Firearms from Finland, and this is our multi-caliber rifle. So basically that means that it can shoot both 223 and 308, okay. only with change of three parts. The bolt, the barrel, and the magazine one. So is this something you can do yourself in the field? Yes. Okay, even that. And, and very fast, approximately three minutes you can change the caliber. That's and awesome. it retains its zero between the barrel changes and we can promise one MOA accuracy on 100 meters That's with really quality good. ammo. 308 barrel, I guess it's some kind of designated marksman rifle and a regular rifle otherwise. Yes. Every other solution I've seen, uh, like three bolts or something on the side, yeah. and that takes armor level to change it. Yes. Or someone that's not stupid to do it. <laughs> yes. But if you want, I can show the field strip and barrel change. Yeah, please do. So the rifle is both to left and right hand shooters. Okay. The controls are on both sides. Yeah. Also the charging handle, you can change it to the other side if you're left handed. The field strip is extremely effortless. You just pull this pin and lift the trigger assembly out. It's our own trigger, two test trigger, and very crisp. After that, you lift the stock. The stock and the handle is both AR-15 compatible. After that, you pull the recoil spring out and the bolt assembly. Oh, it's like an AK, the bolt. Just yes. twist and it falls out. It has the bolt, the AR-15 and AK, the both, uh, best, both of the best world. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. And it has fixed ejector. Yeah. So it's extremely reliable. Here's the gas port. We have both normal and suppressed setting. Do you have an adverse setting as well? Uh, or isn't it needed? It it is doesn't need it. Okay. And this is the smallest part of the gun that comes off. Okay. So no small pins or springs that you can lose in the sand. To that, the gas piston comes out and the bolt handle. There's a complete field strip. Yeah, this is the field strip. And if you want to change the caliber, you need a 5 mm Allen key. You take off these two screws. Is it specific torque settings for uh, this? 15 or? Newton meters. Okay, that's not that much. And the recoil lug comes out. After that, you just pull the barrel out. And the loading tube comes also off. It's very efficient for cleaning as well, if you want to be very thorough. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's effortless. Yeah. And then you can take the gas piston and uh, push this pin. It's also retained. And the magazine, well, comes off. Mm. And after that, you can change to 308 magazine. Well, look, and here we have both two, two to three and three oh eight. We use the same bolt carrier for both. And here is a three oh eight barrel. Same procedure. You just barrel in, take the recoil lug, tight the two screws. It's a very nice concept for sport shooters in certain European countries where you can only have like a li specific license for a specific firearm yes. and then you don't have to have a, a very fancy license for yeah. uh, a kit like this where you can change the barrel, just the yeah. barrel usually and don't require. And when you much. only have the one gun you learn to shoot it very well. Yeah, yeah, with the same trigger system yeah. and everything. So yeah, it translates well the skills you learn on one to the other.
we go. And now it's 308. Yeah, I have some rifles where I can change calibers on. They're a bit more complicated than this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is very fast. Uh, as a you don't I need it to be any faster, because if you need it to be faster, then you're using a light machine gun or something, yes. or you have to swap barrels in combat or something. Yeah. For a rifle like this, this is uh, perfect. But anybody, this is, this is very easy, anybody can do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this isn't... Uh, and as far as I know, it's it's the only only rifle that changes to a shorter to longer caliber that retains the same receiver. Yeah. You have different barrel lengths as well? Yes, we have 308 in 16 and 20 inches yeah. and 223 in 16 inches. But uh, So I guess it's different dwell times if the barrel gets longer. Does that affect uh, the mechanism inside in some way? No. Okay. So it's just the uh, gas regulated that yeah, way. But we have 20 inch barrel because if you want to get everything out of the 308. Yeah, of course, of course. Kind of the same with this. If you really want all the speed, then you have to have a 20 inch barrel as well. But uh -huh. usually you don't need that much speed with a 223. Yes. <laughs> and just switch to 308 if you're in that business. Okay, thank you very much. Thank it's you. Very nice rifle. It looks uh, very high class. This reminds me of like uh, Swiss guns or something with a fit and finish and everything. Very beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.